Imagine a plane so big, so luxurious, that it looked more like a flying cruise ship than an airplane. Right after World War II, Britain wanted to prove it could lead the future of aviation. Their answer? The Bristol Brabazon, a massive airliner unlike anything the world had ever seen. Built in 1949, the Brabazon was longer than a Boeing 747 and had a wingspan wider than a football field. It was designed to carry just 100 passengers, but in absolute luxury. We're talking private cabins, lounges, a dining room, even a place to watch movies, all inside an airplane. The goal wasn't just travel, it was glamorous travel, a sky palace meant for the rich and powerful. It took eight massive engines to lift this beast off the ground, spinning giant propellers that made the aircraft sound like thunder in the sky. People came from all over just to see it take off. The Brabazon was Britain's pride, a flying symbol of post-war innovation and ambition. But soon reality hit. Airlines realized passengers didn't want luxury. They wanted speed and affordability. Jet engines were arriving, offering faster, cheaper flights across the Atlantic. And suddenly, this giant propeller plane felt outdated before it even began. In 1953, after only a few test flights, the Bristol Brabazon was scrapped. No passengers ever flew on it. It became one of the most spectacular failures in aviation history. But here's the thing, even though it failed, it taught engineers valuable lessons that shaped the future of jet airliners. The Brabazon proved one thing. Sometimes, being too far ahead of your time can make even genius look like a mistake. The Bristol Brabazon, a dream that flew but never truly soared. 